everyone, it's Jewel here, and we are long overdue for another sewing desk sit down. And I don't have that much to catch you up on. Yeah. Mainly because I've started five projects that aren't finished yet. That's five things I could share with you, but I don't really have to because they're not done. Three of them are actually hanging on my display form, so I know that it's probably just like, Jewel, please finish it, this is so heavy, but, you know, I don't really listen to her, so it's, it actually doesn't talk because it's just a... Uh, yeah, it doesn't talk. Anyways, the biggest news I think we have to share is we have a brand new blog and a brand new blog design. It's still at www.jubileeamaris.com, but we got a brand new host, so everything is completely different. We actually decided to start just brand new, so all of our old posts will still be in the old host, which is jubileeamaris.blogspot.com, so if you have a favorite that you want to go back and look at, you can pop over there. But our new blog design is so awesome and I am just really enjoying it and I just I'm happy I'm happy about the switch which is good because it's always kind of nerve-wracking when you decide you know what we're gonna completely start over so in this video I'm just gonna be kind of catching you up on what I've been sewing just so I'm not so completely far behind so first it's a little tiny project I made myself a wallet it folds it's got a snap here which I actually thrifted and it is made out of the scrap fabric. You obviously recognize this from my scrap dress, which I actually talked about in my last episode. So I got place for receipts, cash, change, cards. Card pockets aren't my favorite because actually most of them are really deep. But other than that, I actually really love this wallet. I did stop this around the corners just to add some stability there. But right here my sewing machine would not sew that close to the snap so I just have this hole here which I really should hand stitch to reinforce but it's not ripped yet so why do we need to do that I mean like really extra work for nothing <clears throat> so that's my wall the pattern is was created by dandelion drift for sew mom myself but I will link it up below because I just found it on Pinterest and it's free. I don't know how much you remember from our last episode, but at the very end I was talking about two projects. I guess I didn't really talk about it, I just mentioned them. And then I was almost done with Tamara's outfit and then planning another project for Kimberly. So did I finish those? Yes, I did. And in time. Mm -hmm. Granted, Kimberly's was literally as she was walking out the door and she kind of left late because I wasn't finished. But neither here nor there anymore because that's the past and we are now living in the future or the present but while you watch it this will be the past so that's just a set sentence that didn't really need to be put in here um so Tamara's outfit was actually for her birthday she wanted something to wear it was a two-piece outfit and yes I did complete it the top is simplicity 1099 with actually that was my first full bust adjustment that is the incredible bow skirt which is one of my favorite patterns the skirt is actually pretty simple because of the way the skirt is put together with the lining of the bow and the bow you can't actually put any side seam pockets in so when Tamara requested some pockets I had to do a little thinking but I was able to draft just a little patch pocket to put underneath the bow so it's actually hidden by the bow itself and it fits her phone, some cash, just, you know, just, just tiny things, but you can't see it because it's under the bow. So that's pretty awesome. The other project I mentioned was for Kimberly and we did get it done. It was actually a wedding guest ensemble, pink gingham. The top is Simplicity 1699. What's the deal with all these nine nines? I don't know, but we actually removed the peplum of the top to make it more of a crop top to sit right on the top of her skirt to give the dress, but the two piece look which I really think is adorable, by the way. I love that kind of look, and it's very trendy right now. And the bottom was Simplicity 1200. And the last thing that I have sewn was actually a brand new release from Sew DIY. I was able to test the Lou Box Dress version two for Sew DIY, and it's really just a great dress. I actually wrote up a blog post for that, and I'll link that down below but it's just right here. It's a really nice, easy to wear, super low maintenance dress. Like I wore it to grocery shopping and between the six to seven times getting in and out of the car, loading the grocery, it did not move. Like it never rode up, which was so, so nice. That is that, which I'm pretty excited about. Like I said, you can read more on the brand new blog, jubileemaris.com. 
And another version is actually one of the five unfinished projects. So, you might be seeing that pop up on the blog pretty soon. I hope your sewing machines keep singing and you have a fabulous day. Bye-bye!